Crazy. I don't see any shine out of shields. No fox ever tests their shine out of shield. It disappoints me. Well, it's it's different because you're not being hit. Yeah. So I mean, it's well, it's easier to shine out of shield when you're not under pressure. Atta, atta, atta. The infamous fox SD sound. The atta. <laughs> the triangle jump noise. Atta. Yeah. Atta and a big punish. I think okay. I think fox has the best noise for that. So we're actually going to do it now. All right, here we go. So we're going to look going for a lot of uh, a lot of low percent running shines, a lot of crouch canceling there at the start here, I think. Oh, nice slide off, but he covers it. Yeah. With double shine. Ooh. Kind of goes for a cheesy F smash there. s doing really good at just Ooh. spacing out aerials and holding space with them. Nice. Forcing Jaden to approach. Yep. Ooh, nice. Like Drops good. that combo, but he gets a good amount of percent, and that should yeah. be it. Smart oh, coverage of the ledge. Made sure when he backed there to jump on stage so he could have covered the other options. Ooh, good get up attack. Protects him. Sargo has been really aggressive out of knockdown, going for get up attacks and shine. Yeah. Fox can get away with it a lot more in other matchups, but it's a lot harder in the ditto. Ooh, a clank off of wedge dash. Ooh, that's a stock for Tower though. Good grab. A really good wait. Good fade back on the drill on shield to not get punished. Ooh, he's, oh wow, good DI. He's, he should be dead here, yep. Yeah. He went for the Omps attack, but didn't didn't DI hard enough. Dash tag is such a good move. It is, especially, especially in this matchup. It's the grab of it. He goes for an up air really fast, even after he saw the tag, instead of just waiting. It feels like a very aggressive game is going on, where they're both trying to hit each other a lot, but it feels like Sardo's trying to leave the scrap a little early, and he just gets run down. Ooh, good option off the ledge. Sourdough goes for more reads uh, when he gets SFOP and knockdown instead of going for a true punish on the knockdown. Yeah, no, he's not so even... He's, dro he's dropping it a lot more than he should. He's not even trying to react to it. He's just going for his read. Yeah. It feels like a big thing that Sour Sourdough seems to not be reacting as much as he should be, especially in this matchup. SFOP's more so going for reactions, it feels like. He's got those young man hands. Wow, that was a good double shine down here. Ooh. Good shine. That tech wasn't the best because he could have just slid off. Is that I like the little I like the little single laser just to add a little bit. Yeah. Looks cool. Ooh, spot touch the grab. Ooh, nice. Sourdough yeah. overextended there a bit. And he uh, dies for it. That was such a good weight with the shine. Just can't go back there. Right? S-Fob just did his best to not put himself in a bad position and make Sourdough oh, earn it. And Sourdough overextended and s -Fob killed him. It does feel like the, the biggest story of that game was just s -Fob doing really good at never overextending and always staying right out of his range. And always punishing in the smallest overextension by Sourdough. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, gets the pivot re That was a good little 63. Ooh, that shine, and that could be... Oh, oh he fails it. That could have been a stock. And I... Goes for back air instead of Armada shine. Well, I think there you could just wait for the uh, Fox to go up and then shine him on that. Yeah, that too, because it would have ended soon enough. Oh, oh, wow. Good angle. Goes high, yeah. That's a really good choice. Oh, wow. oh, my God. That was, that was great. That was, that was crazy. Great. That's the SFOP special, dude. Beautiful place to do that, too, with him stuck oh, on the What ledge. a good way to read the spot dodge. Feels like the only way uh, sourdough has been able to kill has been off of read up smashes. We'll see if he can do something else. SFOP's starting to turn it up, though, with shines. 
Sardo does just seem to be a very read heavy player here. That was a great shield by him though. Next uh, down to a choice. S Flopper is respecting the ledge dash and just backing off. Oh, oh no. no! He's probably okay. going for laser there, trying to add some percent. Yeah. It's a shine Ooh. wavelength. Yeah, if, if Sourdough did not tech that, he was just auto he was, dead. Yeah, he was getting up smash. That stop is so good at that wavelength there. It's crazy. Ooh. Good back air. That would be the stock. Dash back into the corner it covers basically everything except him just running off the yeah. stage and double jumping back. So it's so good there. Ooh. That would have been a hard punish on the grab if he could have gotten it. Oh, he gets back here. Shine, shine. That was such a good punish. That, That's why I brought this whole game Beautiful. back. Oh. Bit of technical difficulties on the camera. Comes back. Goes good high. angle by good angle. Oh, oh that's, that's it. it. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Swap saved him. Yeah, he goes for dare. Save him. That's nice. Oh, up there. Ooh. That little Ooh. dash onto the platform is so nice. It's really smart by Swap to get off the platform. I well. really like that Sourdough just saw Swap crouch uh, dash dancing and just crouched and waited. Yeah, he's trying to crouch cancel any back air. And that's it. Oh, that was not good. We'll see if Sourdough can kill him at low percent. Sex the Nair. Swap is playing incredibly oh. safe right now. Yeah, he doesn't want to extend too close. Back there, Shine is on the table. Beautiful. Good stuff from SFOP. He goes to cover ledge and then could have covered anything else. Really good stuff from SFOP. Just clean play. The best part of him going to ledge that late is that he's invincible. So he doesn't. Yeah.